y'all, it's Kay with Crafting Cousins. We're so happy you stopped by our channel today. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. In today's video, we will have three quick and easy fall DIYs. Hey y'all, this is Kay. For this project, let's gather up a few supplies and we'll make this cute home sign that we can change out for several seasons. I'm going to be using five of the five gallon paint stirrer sticks. I'm going to be using the ones that are at the top. They came from Walmart and they have no numbers on them and they are quite smooth and a little bit thinner than the ones from Lowe's. I'm going to use these three wooden letters, H, M, and E. I got them from Dollar General for a dollar a piece and they're about four inches tall. A metal pumpkin that I got from the Dollar Tree. It had a stake on it and I just twisted it off. Some three and a half inch wired ribbon that I got recently at the Dollar Tree. One chenille stem and one zip tie. Some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster some antiquing wax by Waverly, some heavy duty Velcro that I got from Walmart, it is adhesive backed, and finally some wood glue and my hot glue gun. I took my sticks out to the garage and I cut them with my husband's miter saw and I cut the first two paint stirrers at 16 and a half inches long and I'm just going to discard those two smaller pieces. For the other two pieces that I need for this ladder, I'm going to cut two paint stirrer sticks at 11 inches, but I'm going to hold on to those two second pieces. The piece that is left is 10 inches, and then I'll cut one more paint stirrer stick into two 10 inch pieces, and that will give us the rungs for our ladder. Now that we have everything cut for the ladder, I'm going to use the antiquing wax and a baby wipe, and I'm just going to stain all of these pieces. I'm going to stain the front, the back, and all of the edges, except where I'm going to be joining the ladder. And that would be the 16 and a half inch pieces and the 11 inch pieces. For my wooden letters, I'm going to give them a really good coat of the plaster chalk paint by Waverly to include painting all of the edges. To construct our ladder, I'm just going to put some glue at the ends of the longer pieces, join it to the shorter piece, and then I'm taking a craft stick and then I'm going to join it over the top by adding a little hot glue. And that will just give it some support until the wood glue can dry. I'm going to use my carpenter square to help me lay out my pattern. I'm coming down first of all with the first measurement at four and three quarters inches from the top and I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to do that on both pieces of the upper part of my ladder, the longer pieces. And then I take one of my paint stirrers and I'm going to draw out the width of it. So that's my second line. Then I come in four inches below that, start my next line with using my square, and then I draw in the length of the board once again. And then I just repeat that two more times down the board. And that way, the third board will be right in the middle of where my two pieces are joined. Just like that. And that will leave us just enough room at the bottom to mimic what we have at the top. But you want to make sure that the longer board is always up. So I'm going to tape my two side pieces down to my work table, and that's why I've zoomed out so you can see that. And I make sure that I get it lined up nice and square, and then I'm just using my wood glue and my hot glue, so I can get that fast hold and that long hold. And I'm going to join my pieces, my side pieces. Remember, they're 10 inches long, and we'll work our way down our ladder and get all four joined to our ladder. And I do come back and clean off all that excess glue. And there's our fourth one. Now our ladder is complete. I'm going to be gluing my letters to the board. So I want to come in with a scrap piece that I cut off one of these sticks. And I'm just going to draw a line towards the bottom of each letter so that I know where to put my glue on the back. Then to place our letters on my ladder, I'm going to once again use my wood glue with a little hot glue in the center, and then I'm going to center them in the middle, each letter as I work my way down the ladder. I'm just being sure to line up the bottom with the bottom of the ladder so that everything is 
pretty much the same top to bottom. For the pumpkin, I'm going to use that heavy duty Velcro I showed you earlier so that we can change this out later, use a different metal piece that's around four inches tall and trade it out for a different season. Speaking of that, I wanted a bow on mine, so I took those ribbons I showed you that I got from the Dollar Tree and I lined them up one on top of the other and I made six inch tails and two three and a half inch loops on each side. Then I'll come in with a zip tie, take it out of the bow maker. Before I cinch it tight, I'm going to place a chenille stem right there in the back and then we'll cinch that down and cut it off with our scissors. And then every bow needs to have the ends dovetailed. And we're gonna cut from the fold out to the edge. And then we'll come in and fluff it and pull out the different ribbons. This is just a different way to use your bow maker and use up your ribbon. This ribbon is very wide, it's three and a half inches. So it required a little finagling and a little fluffing. Then we'll just attach it to our ladder and I'm gonna enjoy this all fall. And then I'm going to come back and use it in the spring as well. Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you are new here, we hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the little button below. Make sure you ring the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new content. We upload new videos each week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, and tips, tricks, and hacks. We just know you'll find something you like with Crafting Cousins. Hey y'all, it's Kay. Let's gather a few materials and make a really simple primitive pumpkin for our holiday decor. I'm going to be using one of these six inch grapevine wreaths that I got recently at Hobby Lobby. They come in like a pack of four. One of these wood stems that I got in a pack at the Dollar Tree. Some small wooden wood beads. This wooden word that I got at Hobby Lobby in a package, it says blessed some fall flannel fabric, one of these wooden tags that I got at Walmart, some Waverly chalk paint in the colors pumpkin and moss, some antiquing wax, and finally some jute twine and my hot glue gun. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint the wooden tag in the moss green chalk paint. I'm going to paint the back, the front, and all of the edges and then I'll also string some of my beads onto a skewer so that I can paint four of them in the moss green chalk paint. I'm going to paint the word blessed in the pumpkin chalk paint and also four of the wooden beads in the pumpkin chalk paint as well. And for the last four beads, I'm going to use my antiquing wax and stain those beads. And finally, I will use my antiquing wax on the stem piece that will go on the top of the pumpkin as well and will darken that up. I'm going to place hot glue on the back of my wreath here and then I'll just smooth down my fabric as I go and pull out all the wrinkles and keep it as tight as possible. And once I do that, I'm just going to go in with my fabric scissors and I'm going to cut all the excess off the outside of the wreath. Decided I would take one of these brad nails and nail it into the bottom of my stem and that will give me something for the glue to grab onto and I'm going to glue it to what will be the top part of my pumpkin. The wooden word does have a little glue on the back, but I'm going to use some hot glue to attach it just to make sure it stays right here on my tag at an angle. Then I'm going to come in with some twine, place it through the hole in my tag, just do a little slip knot. And once I get that done, I'm going to place on some beads on both sides of my jute twine. I ended up pacing about four beads on both sides and then I'm just going to tie it at the top and then I'll use that same string to tie it around my pumpkin, secure it with a little hot glue at the back after I tie a couple of knots, just cut off the excess and we're almost done. But I wanted to make a simple bow for this piece and I'm just going to use the same jute twine, wrap it several times around my hand and then just kind of fashion it into a bow. I'll use another piece of jute and tie it right down the middle there to secure it. Trim off those ends and then we have a cute little bow to go on our pumpkin. And I'm just going to use a little hot glue to secure it here at the side. And with that, this project is complete. Do 
you like to create with paper? Create beautiful journals, cards, embellishments, and interactive mini albums? Well, you should go and check out our channel, Crafting Cousins Create. There, we slow down the videos and give you step-by-step -step instructions that make it easy for everyone from the beginning to the advanced crafter to follow along. There will be a link to that channel in the description box below. We hope that you'll come over and join us. Hey y'all, it's Kay. For this project, I'm going to be using this kit that I picked up at Target in the Dollar Spot area. It costs just $3 and it has the pumpkin plus four additional pieces. I'm going to be using this scrapbook paper that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, some Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin, some acrylic paint in the color King's Gold. It has a flat finish. Some ribbon that I got from Michaels. It is about a 3 8 inch ribbon in the color pumpkin. Some jute twine. My furniture repair marker from the Dollar Tree. Some Mod Podge and my hot glue gun. So to make a pattern for my pumpkin, I'm going to use some printer paper and just place it down inside and I gently start working my way around the pumpkin and using my nails to kind of cut out a pattern and I decided I would do the pumpkin stem as well. But later I decided I wouldn't even use that piece, so if you wanna skip that and do it like I did it, you can leave that off. And then at the end, I just used my scissors to finish cutting out the pattern. And once I was sure it fit, then I came in with my scrapbook paper I'm going to use and I turned my pumpkin. Make sure you turn it the correct way. That's one of the reasons I left the stem on so long. I use some washi tape to tape it down to the paper. And then I'm just going to come in with my pencil and trace that out. Then I'll just use my scissors to carefully cut it out. And once I'm pretty happy with the fit, then I come in with my furniture repair markers and I'm going to stain the outside of my pumpkin all the way around. Furniture repair markers are odorless and they dry almost instantly. They are perfect for these small projects. And then I stained the stem top on my leaf as well. Now this is where I decided to cut off the top. And so I'm going to go in and stain the top of this pumpkin with my furniture repair marker also. Then I'm going to get out my Mod Podge and I'm going to give it a nice even coat here on the bottom. And then I'm going to place my scrapbook paper inside and we'll let that dry completely. I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and I'm going to paint the words give thanks. And then for my leaf I started out painting it in that gold color that I showed you earlier and then I come in with a really tiny marker and I made some marks around the side and put in the veining. And then I'm going to come in with some antiquing wax and tone down that color. It was just a little too bright. All of the smaller pieces came with adhesive on the back. So I'm just going to peel off the double-sided paper, place down the word give thanks and give it a good nice smushing. And then I'm going to take my leaf and glue it right up here to the top. And then it looked a little plain, so let's come in with some ribbon and make a really simple bow. Just a four loop bow, tie some twine around it. Then I'm just going to make a little twine bow on top of it as well and tie that onto it. So it just gives it a little more judging. And then once I get that like I wanted, we'll just cut off and trim the ends. And then I'll come in and glue it to the top of my pumpkin right to the side of my leaf. And with that, it's complete. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye y'all!